Dr. Sun told me that I had nothing to do with the fact that my son had this condition. He said that this developed very early on during um, the first few weeks of my pregnancy and he explained it as the, the cells basically being a flat sheet of paper and as the embryo develops the paper closes and that's that would be a normal spinal cord but Joshua's had a little opening so there was nothing I could have done to prevent it from happening it was just a hiccup when he was developing working with Dr. Sun was so easy. He made everything, he made a very serious situation feel comfortable. He reassured me that this could be fixed and that my son would be completely normal after the surgery. Um, he told me that um, what he would do is he would make an incision down my son's spine and he would actually go in under the spine and remove this this deposit of skin that was forming from, from the hole that it was getting into. And he would go in and he would remove the skin and then close Joshua up. And that was basically the, the process that he told me would be happening during the surgery room. The morning of the surgery was very, very nerve wracking. I had butterflies in my stomach. I was a million questions going through my head. What's going to happen? Is my child going to be okay? Is there going to be anything that goes wrong during the surgery? Just so many things going through your head. And my surgery actually got postponed a few hours. Dr. Sun had an emergency come in where he had to push Joshua's surgery back, and which intensified my worries and my butterflies and everything. And I ran into Dr. Sun. Um, while he was running into the cafeteria to grab lunch, literally running in. And I stopped him and I asked him, I said, Dr. Sun, are you sure you're going to be able to do this surgery? You've already had two or three surgeries to do this morning. And he reassured me that he would absolutely be able to do the surgery and that he would completely take care of my child and I had nothing to worry about. I would tell a parent that to be strong and to absolutely trust in the decisions that Dr. Sun is making for your child and for your family because he really does have your child's best interests at heart. Dr. Sun, he loves what he does. It isn't just a job for him. It's, he helps people. He, he fixes your children when you can't. And trust the decisions that he makes because he will fit, he will make your child better and Joshua is your average three-year-old little boy he's he's running and jumping and playing and climbing and getting into things and I'm not sure that he would be able to be doing all that if it wasn't for Dr. Sun and doing the surgery Dr. Sun told me if this went untreated that it could have developed into meningitis or some other infection that would have wouldn't have allowed my child to be able to do the normal things that he's doing right now.